Well, hello there, sassy people. Welcome to Mature Sass. My name is Linda, and over here we have fun with style and fashion. Now, the name Mature Sass is because, you know, I'm of that more mature age, age, but I still have some sass in me, I think. Some days more than other. But anyway, over here we take just some basic things from our closet and we try to get a little inspiration as to how we can utilize what we already have and just create some sassy different looks. So we usually take just three looks. Sometimes it might be from a picture that one of you have sent me or you've asked me to style something in particular or pictures that I may have pulled offline or from Pinterest. Maybe a picture that I've already shown that I've, something I've already worn. So we usually style it three ways. And then I just kind of show you a few ways that I like to style it just in my everyday life. So if that sounds good to you too, come on, let's style some looks. But first, those of you that are new, I would absolutely love it if you would please hit that subscribe button down there and make sure you give it a thumbs up. And those of you that are my regular wonderful subscribers, thank you for coming back time and time again. So today, I have been going through some more things. And yes, <laughs> new with tags. So this is a pair of wide leg denim jeans. And I was trying to think when I purchased them. I got them from Belk. It's been a long time, but I'll go through my... Uh, order history and if I can find them I will link them down below because I know you guys love getting a bargain too trust me they were on sale they're um by Ruby Road and they're $48 but I know I didn't pay that much and then I thought let's just put this in the mix this is a little sweater with kind of those like eyelash um feathery kind of details on it. I got this from Ross, I think last year, $17.99. So I thought, let's think of some ways that we can wear our, our, our wide leg jeans in a more sassy way because, you know, it's not that you guys have to give up your skinny jeans or anything like that, but we've got to try some other uh, cuts. You know, like a wide leg cut, a boot cut, a girlfriend jean. I love them all except I'm not too keen on the skinnies, but that's okay. Your preference doesn't have to be mine. Let me stop babbling and let's get on with the try-ons. So this first one, I thought, let's take that white tank again that we talked about in previous videos, and we're going to layer it. She has on tons of layers. I love it. Let's take a look. So first thing off the bat, she has on just a white tank with her wide leg jeans, but she has a kind of a button-up striped shirt in on the top of that one and then she has on a black jacket now I'm sure by now we all have a black jacket right so I thought let's kind of layer this uh look up because even though it's it is getting a little bit cooler here it's still like you know in the 70s on you know for our highs so we always call that wrap and peel weather anyway. You get all bundled up in the morning and by the time it's afternoon, you're taking things off. So those of you that where it is cooler, much cooler, I think a couple of you have said it has snowed. I can't even imagine. So I thought this would be like a perfect layering kind of look. So let's see if we can, I know I have a black jacket, I have a button up shirt, I have a white tank. Got my blue jeans. Let's style this look. Come on. Okay, this first look is the wide leg jeans with the uh, white tank top underneath, followed by the layer of a striped button up shirt, and then kind of top it all off with the black jacket. This is a perfect look for fall as you get into cooler days. 
I just put it with some denim espadrilles because like I said, it's still very hot here. Now for the handbag, I took my Ralph Lauren handbag and I want you guys to know I've had this bag, I know at least a good 10 years, but I want you to know this reason why I'm always talking about that brand, look at the leather on this. It is still perfect. It never goes out of style. So what do you think about this look? Next. Since so many of us love a kimono, I picked this look. And somebody uh, made a comment about by it being, you know, a plus size channel, which I am not. I mean, I am a plus size lady, but this channel is for everybody. But I tried to pull a couple of pictures of a more curvy lady. Um, actually, I have two pictures because. One is still more of a summery look because hers are more of a cropped wide leg, but I wanted to include that picture. But let's take a look. It has a kimono that's just in a real pretty floral print. Now, you know what I decided I'm going to do for this look? You guys remember, I think it was in a mask Monday not long ago, I had on my beautiful um, robe from Marla Wynn. I'm going to put it with this look. I am definitely going to wear that out and about. So then she has on just like a white tank underneath. She has on some long jewelry and that always kind of breaks up that look and kind of elongates the body. And um, do you have any kimonos? Let me know. Because And guys, take a robe and wear it as your kimono or your third layer piece. So kimono, white tank, white leg jeans, style it up. <laughs> okay, so let's take this pretty Marla Wynn robe. Now I decided to kind of deviate from the white tank because this robe has so much of that dark brown in it. I put on a dark brown tank with it instead. Uh, but if you notice, it's almost kind of like a, it has some icy blue kind of slate gray colors to it. I love it and I wish you could feel it. It is so silky. I love the way Marla put this little uh, notch in the back that has the belt uh, where you can just kind of loop it through that one little area. It's perfect and the belt stays in place. Um, usually with wide leg jeans you don't put it on with a long kimono like that but I did. Usually you want to kind of keep it slim on the leg when you have like a kimono. But um, I put those kind of denim and gold earrings with it. Just a little blue clutch bag and I think this is a perfect look. Next. This one would be really nice for kind of a more casual, work-appropriate look. She has uh, her wide leg jeans on with just a cream sweater. I think I might throw that cream, um, the one with the fun sleeves. Either that or my, um, I got one last year from Free People. I'm going to dig it out. It's my favorite. It's so fluffy and cozy. Still too hot here for it, but... Hey, you guys that are having cooler temperatures, let's throw that one in the mix. And uh, that's just pretty much it. She just has on some flat tan shoes. So I'm going to pull out my loafers from, I think they're Bandolino. Yeah, I think so. But anyway, this is a very casual look. And I mean, it's work appropriate, but it's more casual because she has on the flats. Let's see what we can come up with. All right, so here we have the wide leg jeans and I put on kind of a monochromatic look at the top. I put that really fun sweater. <laughs> As you notice, my little cloud bag has those little fringes too. But um, the sleeves on this is what makes it so much fun. It's really cute. I put on these kind of cream earrings. I believe those were from Steinmart some time ago. But those sleeves are so pretty and fun. I just had to throw this one in. All right, 
let's take a look at just a few of my favorite ways to just wear my wide leg jeans. I just usually wear them with a sweater or sometimes a moto jacket. And of course, you guys know I love wearing it with my hats or my scarves. So accessories are the key. Just um, put on a top with some great accessories and you're going to have a great look. Let's take a look at a few of my faves.
right, so tell me, what did you think? Did you get any inspiration as to how you can sass up your wide leg jeans? I sure hope so, because it's as simple as putting on a shirt and a sweater, some jewelry, and you have a look. Guys, make sure that if you are not subscribed to my channel, before you go, please give it a tap on that bell. Tap the top bell if you want to be notified whenever I upload. The middle one is not, but please do subscribe. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. Make sure that you're having a fabulous weekend. Get out, do something fun. Make sure you're staying safe and healthy and be kind. And definitely be sassy. I'll see you soon.